Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me today. Let's take some big, big sips to get this one started, guys. Today, I am going to show you how to get free ammo. Free, unlimited ammo in Entropia Universe. So, you will notice that I've got 562,000 shrapnel on me. So 56.24 ped of shrapnel. You'll notice that I have 11.41 ped of universal ammo and I've got 0 0.0549 ped of BLP packs because my pistol is BLP based. Not laser based so I can't use universal ammo. I've got to have BLP on ammo. So that being said, I'm about to show you guys how to get free unlimited ammo, which is a complete and utter game changer. So this will probably only work until somebody resets the servers come early, early Tuesday morning, but use it while you can, right? So if you notice, I'm going to pull this up here so you guys can see it. This is my shot counter. So it's looking at the universal ammo I currently have and the consumption rate of my weapon. So I've got 176 shots and then I would be out of ammo. Once I run out of universal ammo, it would switch over to the BLP packs. So first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open vehicle inventory. I'm going to take my universal ammo. I'm going to split it. I only want a couple of shots. Let's go with like four shots. Okay, and I'm going to put my universal ammo into my inventory in my quad. Okay, so that gives me two shots. Sorry, two shots. So I've got two shots of universal ammo. And then once I'm out of universal ammo, it'll switch over to BLP packs. Now I don't have any BLP on me at the moment, so I'm going to get out my trusty portable trade terminal. I'm going to equip it. And I'm going to purchase BLP packs. So I'm going to purchase... We'll, we'll just go with a thousand ped. Nice round number. Okay, so now I can close that out. So what I'm going to do, and, and here's the kicker, guys. Once you manage to get stuck in free ammo mode, you can't do anything else. You can't switch to a FAP. You can't consume a candy cane. Once you get stuck in free ammo mode, you have to stay in free ammo mode. Okay? So I'm going to equip my gun. I want to take all my shrapnel. And I want to split off you know like two or three shots there as well so just a little bit of shrapnel I'm gonna put the rest in there okay so what I'm gonna do I should only have two shots of universal ammo then it should switch over to my BOP packs and then I've only got 2,000 shrapnel which will be about two or three more shots so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a foul I'm gonna start shooting my foul and it switched over to BOP packs right Okay, so now as I'm hunting, I'm going to convert. Notice anything? Wait for it. Yep, not consuming ammo. But yet I'm still able to get the loot out of them. Is this not cool? Now, like I said, this will probably only work until they reset the servers on Tuesday. And if everybody watching this video has crapped their pants by now and said, no, no, that, that can't be right. I'll do you one even better. Hold on, let me actually get to shooting here. Go to my universal ammo. Notice it's not moving. I've got ammo left. Look at the universal ammo. Let me pull it over to the middle of the screen where you can see it. If I hover over it, I've got 2,883 universal ammo, which should be like two to three shots, four shots. Well, four, I guess, because it's counting four. But notice it's not moving. The number's staying the same. Yep. Free ammo. And everybody is now trying this. So I wish I could save this video for April Fool's Day. I wish that was the case, especially since I've already released two videos today. In fact, maybe I should release this one in the morning. Maybe I should wait till Monday just to be extra cruel. 
it's not real guys it's a graphic glitch there's a reason I bought a thousand TT worth of ammo look at the BLP packs the counter on the BLP packs does indeed go down as I shoot but for some reason the actual graphic it sticks so <laughs> if you don't know that it's consuming the ammo you would think that it was stuck but see now I'm down to 993.98 BLP packs 993.72, 993.65, 993.3, 993.2, 992.94 so it's consuming the BLP packs it's actually skipping that four shots of universal ammo and it's going straight to the BLP packs and it's consuming the BLP packs so somehow when they did the last update last Tuesday something happened and essentially if you have ammunition on you and then you run out of universal ammo and it starts consuming the uni the regular ammo and then you go convert your shrapnel whenever you do the shrapnel conversion it sticks the shot counter and I didn't realize this until about two hours ago I was actually hunting Thorofoid and I just recorded the video about the 20th anniversary items that are in the loot pool that we know were in the loot pool the list of stuff that has yet to be discovered I just shot that video and I was really tired because I haven't slept in like two weeks and I was just kinda mindlessly going through the uh, Cyclops depths doing Thorofoid and I looked down and I realized that my shot counter was stuck at like 1211 and it wasn't moving and I was like what and I looked at it for like a half a second just long enough for like four or five shots to go by to verify that it wasn't moving and then I had to pull out my fap and then it started moving again and I didn't know how I did it I couldn't figure out what I had done that got it to stick so I was like scratching my head I'm like that can't be right because the thing is if I wasn't actually consuming ammo the loot should prove it regardless of what this says over here regardless of what is taken out of my inventory <coughs> there's a cost to kill for each mob the loot algorithm knows what I'm pumping in so it knows what to pump out so if I'm only pumping in decay on my my pistol my pistol has two shots per peck of decay give or take so if I was not using any ammunition but still using this pistol I should only be getting about one to two peck out of each creature that I'm killing if it's a foul so four shots I say that four shots should be about four peck yeah I should have roughly four peck of decay per foul give or take the real cost to kill a foul when you include ammo is like 35 peck but from decay only it should be like three to four peck so if indeed there was no ammo being consumed then I shouldn't be getting loot for a quarter of a ped I should be getting loots of a peck two peck three peck four peck maybe five or six peck but I wouldn't be getting normal type returns so the problem is with Thorofoid I couldn't test anything really to figure out how I did it because of the fact that whenever you switch the moment you switch to something it'll stop so watch I'll show you I'll go over here but I figured I'd show you guys this now before the servers reset on Tuesday that way you can screw with your friends if I can find a big batch of foul I'll take some damage real quick and when I do you guys will see what I mean whenever I use my fap so switching to anything switching to another tool switching to another weapon switching to a fap switching to a candy cane and consuming it will automatically stop the the trick so I'm going to switch to my fap real quick. I'm going to fap up. And then I'm going to go back to shooting and see now my shot counter started again. So I uh, left the Cyclops Depths. I figured out how I did it while I was still in Cyclops Depths. And I was 99.9% .9 sure that it was consuming ammo anyway because of the fact that the returns were what would normally be expected with ammo consumption in there it wasn't just decay only like I said my, this weapon has ridiculously good decay that's why it's got the efficiency rating that it does so if it was decay only that the, the loot algorithm was seeing I wouldn't have been getting crap my kills would have been like huh and my codex progression would have gone to a complete halt 
it would have been very very obvious if I was even looking at the loot so I figured out how I did it and then I figured out if I wanted to get this on camera I had to come out here and do foul which I was getting ready to do anyway because I was really getting sick of Cyclops steps and uh, in the process of doing that I was actually able to do a test I just had like five ped worth of uni or uh, BLP packs on me and I just kept an eye on it to be sure it was actually going to consume the full five ped while the counter was stuck so like I said this is a pretty cool trick because until they reset the servers it just keeps working so example even though I used my fap while ago if I pull my quad back out open my vehicle inventory what I'll do is I'll put this in here and then I'll convert ammo and now I should be stuck at 8 so essentially the the trick works whenever you convert ammo you have to have other ammo on you you have to have regular ammunition on you but whenever you run out of universal ammo and you convert your shrapnel it just sticks the counter so it's a cool trick it's a cool glitch obviously if it was indeed giving me loot as if it was consuming ammo but it really wasn't that would have been something that i would not have put out for you guys that would have been something i would have let mind arc know right away because that would be something that could destroy the game but luckily this game is coded so well that we really don't have to worry about that that there there might be glitches in this game there might be opportunities you can take advantage of but nothing that massive that is a big old bunch of foul I don't even know if I can survive that big bunch probably not not with this fat nope but I would have told my dark right away because obviously that would have been something it could have destroyed the game in a couple of days now like I said the kicker is it was something that you couldn't do it for very long without it backfiring on you because a obviously mind arc would find out very quickly you would drain the loot pool very quickly and on top of that you would have to be hunting something extremely low level so how much money are you really going to make even if it did really truly work hunting something massively low level like foul you wouldn't make anything comparable to real money compared to the consequences of a lifetime ban <laughs> and i have invested far too much in this game far too much of my time far too much of myself uh, for that to ever be something that I would ever take a risk on and this brings up the the topic of exploits versus loopholes I'm all about taking advantage of loopholes I'm all about taking advantage of opportunities but a straight-up exploit I am dead set against to me that's it just cheapens the experience to me that just makes it not even worth doing if you're going to cheat at something why do it at all that just tells me you're not good enough to do it legitimately but I did think it was a pretty cool trick and the biggest thing is I wanted to test it to be sure it was actually consuming the ammunition and everything was indeed just a graphical glitch because if not it, whenever stuff like that happens the people who do take advantage of it they're essentially just stealing from mind arc they're stealing from the the players that do everything legitimately so that's the kind of stuff that needs to be reported right away in fact, I'm going to, as soon as I upload this video and show it to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and send in a support case to Mindark and let them know about it. I'm sure they probably already know. I'm sure somebody probably figured that out before I did. But I just thought it was a really, really cool little graphical glitch. And thank God it was nothing more than a graphical glitch. Otherwise, it could have huge repercussions should enough people find out about it, should enough people do it. And unfortunately, there are th things that do happen that do have a negative impact on the game. There was one... I'm not going to be able to recall this right off the top of my head, but I will try and do the best that I can. There was one where there was some kind of a competition. I want to say it was right around the time of the FEN competition, about five years ago. And essentially, you could loot a blueprint that it was a limited blueprint with only three clicks. And essentially, each of the clicks was a success. I'm trying to remember exactly what this event was. And there were people that were out there clicking EP4 and really, really high-end blueprints trying to get this blueprint to drop. And some brand new player was clicking EP1, and he got it to drop. And somehow when it dropped, instead of giving him three clicks, it gave him a hundred clicks. 
and like every click was a success and each one of those successes was practically its own all-time high i mean these were 15 20 000 ped successes <laughs> they were ridiculously huge and he was just sitting there draining the loophole i think he was making a special whip of some sort he was just draining the loop pool dry and essentially mind art just stood by and did nothing and everybody was like what are you doing he's destroying the loop pool it was a big deal it was a bad deal it turned a lot of people off to crafting all together for quite some time i'll have to see if i can try and think back and, and remember what that event was because it wasn't the fen event but i think it was close to the fen event like it was right around the same time as the fen event and i don't remember the exact specifics but essentially i know he clicked ep1 and doing that he won the event and he got the blueprint it was supposed to be a limited blueprint with only three clicks but instead whenever he actually ended up with the blueprint it ended up being a blueprint that had a hundred clicks it was a limited blueprint but it was accidentally set to a hundred clicks and it was like every click was a success or every other click was a success and every success was like a stupid five digit number success or a, f a stupid high four digit number success i'm talking like 9500 pet a click or like 15000 pet a click it wasn't 50 or 60000 pet a click but it it was a lot it was like 9000 to 18000 pet a click and he was just racking them up for an hour and there were people immediately that were like what is going on here something's wrong and there were official avatars that were online they could have seen it and that was the big complaint afterwards was if you knew something was wrong why didn't you sever his connection until you fixed it and just for fun because we can still take advantage of this graphical error here just for fun while i'm shooting the rest of the video We're going to convert our shrapnel, get our two shots of uni ammo, and we're going to go ahead and get that graphical counter stuck. That is so cool. I just love seeing that. Even though I know it's consuming the ammo, I love seeing that. It's just funny to see something like that. And the biggest thing is I've never actually discovered anything in-game that I could say is something out of the ordinary that I can say, hey, I'm the one that figured this out. And I did it by accident, and then I figured out how to make it work. So the fact that I can put that out is pretty cool. But anyway, needless to say, it was all bad because it just drained the loot pool, and it made it very unfair to the other players. So luckily, this is nothing more than a graphical glitch. But I know there's a lot of you that, at the very beginning of this video, were probably crapping yourself. I was about to take a week off work. Not seriously, but it, it was one of those moments that I about fell out of my chair. So I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you got some entertainment value out of this. I hope you can try this trick out before tuesday morning server reset maybe mess with your friends a little bit because obviously you'll know how to do it and they won't and just have some fun with it it's one of those things that luckily there's no harm no foul to it get it foul but it can be fun and you can mess with your friends and we can have a good time and that's what this game is about when you stop having fun when it becomes all about the money when the game is no longer fun then why are we playing at the end of the day, when this is no longer a fun hobby, when this is no longer a fun game, then there's no point doing it anymore. So have some fun with it. Have some fun with your friends before the server reset. And we'll be back with more for you next week. As you can see, I'm down to 966.65 BLP packs. So clearly, it is still consuming the ammunition. So for now, I'm going to leave it there. Sip, sip, smack, smack. You all know the rest. Head over to earnpad.com because when you earn, we earn. That is by far the best way you guys can help support us. When you log into earnpad.com, just use the links to go to hideout.tv. Hideout will automatically see that you came from us and will add earnpad as a redemption option for your points automatically. No additional work needed on your behalf. Guys, hit that like button on the video every time we post a video. Hit that bell icon so you know when we post a video. And please hit that subscribe button to the channel because when you do those three things, it gives our videos more exposure. YouTube puts us in front of more people that play MMOs, PC games, and real cash economy games. And when they do that, a lot of times this is the first time somebody's ever heard of Entropia. They end up watching the channel. They end up getting interested in Entropia. Next thing you know, they're downloading the game. They're starting their journey at Icarus. And that person may be a future society mate of yours, or they may be somebody that ends up buying something off you or does a private trade with you someday, all because you hit those three buttons. So yes, it helps us. It helps the channel. It helps the game. It helps the community. But it could help you too. And we really appreciate it. 
So for now, we'll leave it there. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Hope you guys enjoyed this little graphical glitch. Have fun, some fun with your friends, and we'll be back with more for you next week. Take care, Stevies.